Good morning, North America. Privateer FX coming at you with the New York Open. Gotta say, I got it pretty wrong this morning. Even though we made those new highs in currencies, new lows in the dollar, it did not hold. So at the open, printed up to 48. And then ever since then, Euro's been sort of just inching down, and then we had some acceleration through 20, 125.20. Now it looks pretty bad. 75.6 uh, keeps keeps falling. I'm not sure, really sure what to do with this here, and now we're kind of mid-range. You would expect there to be support at 124 figure 10, uh, and you would expect now there to be stops above the highs at 125.55. In the middle here, we are not going to touch it. Let's look at Kiwi. We were looking at this as a break trade up here. Printed exactly the high. 36 and a half. And now has come straight off. So this is now a pretty powerful level. 74.36, 74.37. Could also be a double top, a big, big double top with a neckline down here, uh, which would mean if it gets triggered, a move down to 66. So let's wait and see on the uh, on the daily close today. We're only halfway through the day, and the fact that stocks are holding up makes me think that this is probably going to turn back around. And people are going to sell dollars again. Uh, dollar yen hasn't done too too much. About two hours before the open we printed down to 55. Since London's been in we've basically been 80.05. Kind of 106.07 right now. Not too much to say there. Uh, equities. We printed a high of 40 46 and three quarters. But now, just recently, this last hour, we've come off just a tiny bit. We're at 39 and a quarter. Still very bid. Still firmly above 30. So, like I said, it looks to me like once all of this intraday stops are done, um, that the market will resume its dollar sale mantra. And if stocks get below, sort of say 27, 25, then we might think, wait a minute, now there's been a little bit of a change here in the general sentiment. Cryptos come off just a touch, not doing too much. 97.60 Bitcoin, as you can see. Ethereum down to 918, three quarters of a percent lower. Not too much to say. 10 years at 289. Week's high has been 294.6. Got to keep an eye on that. Doesn't look like it's going to happen today. Um, but you just still got to keep an eye on it. And lastly, we are going to look at some of these yen crosses, which are definitely not in play at the moment, I have to say. But these bars need to be resolved. All of these big, long-legged bars Gravestone, Doji, Oisian, same, 84.90 the top side, 83.36 the bottom, Sterling Yen, the same, Sterling Yen, it did a little nipsy noodle yesterday, I was not involved with that, 150.02, the high was 18, so we kind of want to use 18 as your top side level, downside is uh, 147.95. Perilously close to the 200 day moving average. That would be a very interesting downside if it comes into play. Um, that's about it for now. We're just going to sit here. Uh, it's about an hour before New York gets in, 7 a.m. New York time. London just is washing out the intraday, intraday stops here. Euro longs getting slaughtered, cable longs getting slaughtered. Um, and. We'll see how long this lasts, but we're mid-range now, so we're just going to sit tight. We'll be buying euros 124.10, or we'll be buying the break of the year's highs through 125.55. All right, guys, 
Have a good weekend. Talk to you soon.